ZBrush 4 introduces the Matchmaker brush. This is a brush that is designed to make one surface conform to the contours of another. So in this example, I have a very elaborate design that I've created with Z-Sketching, and I also have an armor breastplate. And I'd like the design to match the contours of the breastplate. I'll go to the brush palette and choose the Matchmaker brush. And I'm going to leave Z sub on and turn RGB off for the moment. And just drag from the center of the design. And as I'm pulling out, the surface of the design, which was initially flat, is now being made to match the contours of the breastplate. So now what I can do is bring up the uh, transpose tool and just move the design back a little bit so that it matches the breastplate perfectly. And none of the detail on the design has been disturbed by Matchmaker, it's just the overall shape. So here's a best preview render of the uh, design and the breastplate together. You can use Matchmaker to transfer material information from one subtool to another. So in this case, the Matchmaker is causing the uh, metallic material from the breastplate to be transferred to the design. So to do this, I had to make sure that polypainting is enabled for the design subtool and also that the M button on the top shelf, the material button, is enabled. The same thing is true for color information. So in this case, I had the white design. I set the RGB intensity to about 50. And as I pull out, some of the red color from the breastplate is being transferred to the design. ZBrush 4 has several example tools that you can work with. You can find them in the tools section of Lightbox. This is the Matchmaker 1 tool. So you can use this tool to experiment and see how Matchmaker works. Another one is the Matchmaker 4 tool, which has a wooden design that can be transferred to the side of a guitar body. None of the detail on the initial design is affected by the Matchmaker brush. Here's an example of a robot head that was created using Matchmaker. These are initially services that were generated from Shadowbox, and then Matchmaker was used to make each one of these tools match the contours of a character's head. So here's the initial character head subtool, and I'll turn the rest of the subtools on and you can see Matchmaker was used to make each one of these subtools conform to the contours of the character's head.